Launched in 2004, Linux Kubuntu is a variant, or rather a graphical overlay, for the immensely popular and beloved Linux distribution Ubuntu, or Ubuntu, depending on who you're talking to. This Kubuntu graphical overlay is called Plasma, and created by KDE. KDE also creates many of the applications used in Kubuntu, like Ocular, KDE and Live, Dolphin, and many more. Most of these I have never heard of until researching this video, and I'm looking forward to trying them out. Kubuntu isn't the only graphical overlay for Ubuntu with a similar naming convention. There is Edubuntu, Lubuntu, and all kinds of other Untus. All of them are basically the same as regular Ubuntu, but are more tailored for a specific purpose. Edubuntu, for example, is designed for a classroom setting with pre-installed learning software, that can be utilized by teachers and students. Back when Linux Kubuntu first launched in 2004, gaming on Linux was difficult. There was pretty much nothing made natively, and getting games to run with Wine was hit or miss. In the past five years, however, gaming on Linux in general has become easy and accessible. Some may argue it is easier to game on Linux than Windows, and Linux has Steam and Valve to thank for this. Steam for the past few years has offered Linux-specific clients that function identical to Windows, making it a breeze to switch from gaming on Windows to Linux. Some Linux distributions even have the Steam client built in from the initial install, making it that much easier. Steam accelerated the Linux gaming upswing even more when they launched the Steam Deck in February 2022. This is the highly coveted and still somewhat hard to get a hold of mobile gaming device that runs, you guessed it, Linux. Specifically, it runs a Linux variant called Steam OS, which is basically Arch Linux. However, it can also run Linux Kubuntu, although it may not be as optimized and may not work quite as well as Steam OS. One of the many complaints of Linux gaming is that users won't be able to play AAA games on launch day. And while that complaint is valid, it could also be argued that occasionally Windows users aren't any better off, at least in some cases. The launch of Cyberpunk 2077 and No Man's Sky come to mind. The reality is that AAA game companies have seen the change in the winds and have started dedicating teams to developing Linux native games. Steam has also added a native Linux filter on their Steam client to make it that much easier to find Linux native games. Games like Stellaris, X-Plane, Tabletop Simulator, Payday 2, Deus Ex, Civilization, all of these and many more run natively on Linux. The Linux Kubuntu project is amazing, and it is even more amazing when you take into the consideration that it is only maintained by a few highly motivated and dedicated people. They have their pictures on the Kubuntu project website, along with their roles in the project, and you can tell they are passionate about their work. According to the Linux Kubuntu project website, Kubuntu is a community developed and supported project. Since its launch in October 2004, Kubuntu has become one of the most highly regarded Linux distributions with millions of users around the world. Our mission is to provide the latest stable KDE software, which includes the flagship project Plasma, our desktop environment on top of a stable Ubuntu core. We release in six month cycles following the same freezes slash milestones as Ubuntu. And then it continues on. Kubuntu will always be free to download, free to use, and free to distribute to others. With these goals in mind, Kubuntu aims to be the most widely used Linux system and is the center of a global open source software ecosystem. And I would agree that they have a very real chance of that happening. You see, unlike Ubuntu, Kubuntu has a much more familiar graphical interface, especially to someone who is transitioning from a Windows-based operating system. A tech-literate user can hit the ground running in Kubuntu, while Ubuntu may take a little bit of time to get used to. While Kubuntu is still not as popular as its mother, Ubuntu, it has a respectable percentage of the, of the operating system market. The most recent statistics I could find were from an older research paper in 2014, and it puts Linux Kubuntu at 1.92%. This isn't anywhere near the 29% that standard Ubuntu commands, but I still think that once people try Kubuntu, they'll get hooked. At least that's what happened to me. But what if you want Linux Kubuntu and don't want to take the time wiping Windows and reinstalling Linux Kubuntu from scratch? 
Well, good news. If you have the money, you can head over to kfocus.org, where they have a couple laptops and a mini desktop PC for sale preloaded with Linux, Kubuntu, and ready to rock. I don't have any experience with these, and as of this video, they are fairly new, so I can't give a recommendation whether to buy them or not. But I did see the website how to geek did a review of one of the IR14 laptop models, and they gave it a favorable review. But your mileage may vary. Well, that should be about it. Thank you for watching the brief history of Linux Kubuntu.